Well, a Canadian tourist arriving at an Australian airport has shared his shock over the way Aussies behave when we get off an aeroplane. Josiah Hine from Canada was standing at the luggage carousel and he began filming the strange Australian behaviour. Australians don't care as much. This is the exit. If this was the States, this would be like have everyone on the flight. Look at this. In Australia, they're like, most of them are on the other side of this luggage carousel. This is, this is a different vibe here. I don't think Australians care as much. A little bit less uptight up in here, dude. It's not that we don't care, dude. It's just that we're not expecting our luggage to be there. That's all. <laughs> Thanks, Alan Joyce. <laughs> Well, Anthony Mundine has suggested a very practical way to end the argy-bargy between the no and the yes camp in the lead-up to the referendum. We're now just weeks away. He's thrown down the cornflet. He's challenged Thomas Mayo of the yes camp to basically his version of a duel. He's broken tribal law and... There's, got, there's consequences, and us men got to stand up. So I want, I want to challenge him into the ring. Let's go, man. We can get it on. Physical violence is always <laughs> the answer. Yes. I mean, who wouldn't want to see this, though? This is like where the referendum has got up. to. Let's just fight. No, no, we don't, I, I, we don't need the referendum anymore. Like, let's just have the fight, and that will decide exactly. whether or not Place we have your a to parliament. Place your you bets. Place your bets. You know, you've got Thomas Mayo in the yes corner, Anthony Mundine in the ding, no ding, corner. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, ding. Let's see how it goes. Jacinta oh. Price and Linda Burney as the undercards. <laughs> yes. Jacinta <laughs> Price the has there. challenged Al to a debate. Who wouldn't watch that? You've oh. got the number one spokesperson for no, number one spokesperson for yes. Having those two have a face-off is something <laughs> I would definitely pay to see. The only problem is, do you actually want to back in Thomas Mayo <laughs> to knock out Anthony Mundine? Oh, no. 